In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite blitzing concepts against the Gun Bunch in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players that they could possibly become. And so if you are looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It is completely free to subscribe and it allows you to be able to stay up to date with everything that is happening right here on the channel. Alright guys, so in today's video we're going to be taking a look at a pressure concept from the 335 wide. Now I post videos every day that are designed to help you get better on the offensive and on the defensive side of the ball. And it's pretty much a consensus that the 335 wide is the best defense in Madden 21. And so if you want to get my full nickel 335 wide defensive guide that literally breaks down the exact defense that I use and that I use for money games and in tournaments, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description. Okay, so that's just 15 bucks. You can get the whole defensive system for just 15 bucks. But what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be sharing with you a specific pressure setup from the Mike Blitz 3. As you can see here, I'm going to audible right down into the Mike Blitz 3. And what we're going to do is we're going to be breaking down a pressure setup that you can really use against Gun Bunch. So all we're going to do is we're going to spread our defensive line. We're going to crash our defensive line out. We're going to bring this guy down here. Now, the, the little trick that we're going to use is we're going to take this safety and we are going to bring him right here, okay, right here. And basically what's going to happen is if they send everybody out on a route, the pressure is going to come right off the left edge. As you can see right there, easy pressure off the left edge making very minimal adjustments literally all we did was we pressed we crashed our line out we spread them and then we just brought this guy kind of right down in here this other side you can bring him down in here if you'd like as well you can do something like this um, but bringing the safeties down into the box is kind of a little bit of an adjustment so then what's going to happen and I'll show you that this I'll show you that this will this will work again if I can get this get out of this here um, this blitz will work every time. So as you can see right here, left edge pressure, once again, easy pressure, easy sack. Okay, that's not the blitz that I wanted to talk about today, but that's one of the options. The next thing that you can do um, is that what they're going to start doing is they're going to start blocking their running back. And so there's um, a nice, easy little way that we can create some pressure. So when we bring this guy down, if we start to notice that they're blocking their running back a lot, we're going to blitz king. But what we want to do, ideally, is we want him to kind of be right out here okay if we can get him right out here that'd be ideal because you see he's an edge rusher now and what's going to happen is again we're going to have to use it pretty good but you see there we're going to get some pressure still going to get that pressure off the left edge so by bringing the safety into the box and by um, being willing to pressure with the safety uh, whenever they blo block that running back and, and the placement is really really important um, but as long as you get the placement right you're going to be able to get some pretty good pressure. So again, right here, and you see you see that safety just coming right through, and as you can see, you get the pressure. Now, if they're blocking the running back often, and you know you're kind of anticipating that they're blocking the running back, another option that you can do from this is you can just take the slot corner, which is the L1 player right here, and just blitz him off the edge. Now I'm just going to blitz the slot corner, and what you're going to see is we're going to be able to have really clean pressure right off the right edge. So this is a little plus one blitzing technique that you can use when you start to notice trends. When you start to see that people are, um, when you start to see that people are blitzing either their corner, you know, or or I'm sorry, they're they're blocking their running back or they're blocking their tight end. Just adding a plus one is going. It's not going to. I mean, it's not going to be instant pressure, but it's going to be pretty good pressure as you can see, and uh, and we're going to get the pressure in. So that's the cool part about this this defense is you have that plus one approach on both sides. Now, if you wanted to, another thing you could do is if you if you just basically take this safety and run him off, just like this right here, you can do that as well. So I'll show you that. But it's basically just getting that safety down into the box and then using your user to kind of open up lanes, as you can see, and we're able to get the pressure right in. So there's a lot that you can do with the 335. It's highly flexible and highly moldable. Um, it's probably one of the most flexible defenses that I've ever utilized because it truly is good against pretty much everything. But what I will encourage you to know is, you know, again, when you're playing a bunch, you want to be able to get pressure. And so you can use a rush. You can do things like that to kind of guarantee the pressure, even though they think there's only a five-minute rush. You can obviously send more. You can send six. You can send seven. You can send eight. 
against the gun bunch, depending on how many people they block. And that's the beauty of the 335 wide, is that it gives you the flexibility to put a lot of different blitzers on your field. So thanks for watching this video. If you want to get my full nickel 335 wide defensive guide that literally walks you through step-by-step -step how to defend every single offense in Madden 21 elitely, I would encourage you to get that defensive guide. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description. It's just $15 for the entire defense. Um, and if you have any questions, you can always text me. My number is 208-218-6900. Thanks for watching, and we will see you guys later.